Welcome to the IBM BPM8570 demonstration on theme support. I have open in front of me a client-side human service called Travel Request. Let's say that this client-side human service, along with several others, have been deployed in production for a certain amount of time. Our organization would like to upgrade the look and feel of all the UIs within this process app. In the past, this would have been accomplished by changing the CSS that is attached to the various coach views and redeploying a new snapshot of the process app. In 8.5.7, a new mechanism called theme support allows a simple centralized mechanism to update the UIs across the process app. This mechanism also allows the look and feel to be updated after a process app has been deployed without the need to republish a new version of the process app. Theme support in BPM is based on LESS. LESS is an open source CSS precompiler. It adds the ability to define variables and use those in your CSS declarations. Here's a simple example of some LESS code. We have BPM button primary BG defined as a variable with a value set to it. We also have two CSS rules beneath it, my button and my section header. In their definitions, we can see the usage of the variable. Browsers do not understand less, it is compiled into CSS. Beneath, we can see the variable being substituted to create the standard CSS that we're all used to. In BPM, there's a new artifact called a theme, which has all the variable declarations in the system. Coach views that are theme enabled have a dynamic style set on them. And this is less code that leverages the variables defined in the theme. There is one active theme per process app or toolkit, and all coach views within the scope share that styling. Back in the designer, we're going to get started by creating a new theme. Our new theme is going to be called Dark Theme. When the editor opens, we're taken to the Design tab. The Design tab shows all the variables on the left, grouped together, and a preview on the right showing the result and look and feel of the coach views with the current settings. To change an aspect of the UI, I can hover over the different regions in the preview pane. Here we can see that the background color is BPM body BG for this area. Finding that variable on the left, I can click on the color swatch, which will invoke a dialog for me to pick a new color. As soon as I set a new value for the variable, we can see the preview is updated on the right hand side. Let's say we want to change the color for this primary button. The background color is BPM button primary BG. If we find that on the left side, we can see that BPM button primary BG is referring to another theme variable called BPM color primary. We can choose to change the button background color alone or we can choose this more general variable, which will be applied to numerous other spots within the UI. Here we see that the section header and the switch have been updated as well. I can continue using this technique to set other aspects of the UI. For example, I might change the text to be larger. Here we can see that font size is coming from BPM font size base. We can also change some of the border radiuses to soften the look of things. I have adjusted a few more variables to achieve the look that I'm after. Before I close this editor, I'm going to go to the Source tab. In the Source tab, we can see all the variables on the left. And on the right, we can see some metadata. This is what contributes the variable to the Design tab it is possible to add new variables to the theme and use those variables in your custom coach views. You can also leverage the same metadata to achieve the easy to use controls for setting the values, such as the color pickers and font pickers. Now that we have our theme defined, we're going to save the editor and set this theme on the process app. In the process app settings, there's a theme field here. Here, we will select the dark theme we just authored and save this editor. If we switch back to the travel request, 
and we wait a few moments, we can see the theme is applied. The CSS generation happens on the server from the theme artifacts. Running the client-side human service, we can see the theme is applied at runtime as well. To complete this demonstration, I'm going to show how to update the theme on process apps that are already deployed to a process server. This slide shows what we're going to do. We have a number of process apps that are deployed to the process server. Each one depends on the system toolkit, and each one is using the default BPM theme. We're going to create a new theme toolkit, which has the dark theme inside of it, and we're going to create a new dummy process app that depends on the theme toolkit. We're going to deploy the dummy process app and then use the BPM update theme command to dynamically set the theme on the running process apps without redeploying them. I am in process portal where we can see I have the employee travel process deployed. If I launch an instance of this process, I can see the work item. If I accept that work item, we can see the default theme is applied to the coach. Let's update this theme to the dark theme that we just created. In Process Center, we can see the dummy process app that I created. This references the toolkit that contains the dark theme. I'm going to install this new process app onto that process server. I am logged into the WAS admin console for the process server on which our process apps are deployed. I'm going to run the BPM update theme command with the proper parameters. We can see that the command is successful, so let's go back and rerun our process. Back in the same process portal as earlier, we'll relaunch that process. Claim the work item. We can see that the theme is updated even though we did not redeploy a new version of the Travel Request Process app. This concludes the demonstration on theme support in BPM 8570. Theme support provides a simple centralized mechanism for controlling the look and feel of all UIs within your BPM process apps. Thank you. Mm -hmm.